Hey, if you're looking to move, live, eat, sleep, play, work, all the things in St. John's County, Florida, you're in the right spot. Hi, I'm Melissa Anderson. I'm with eXp Realty. I'm your St. John's County, Florida realtor. Today's video is going to be taking a look at the St. John's County, Florida map, kind of picking up where we left off in the last video. Last week, we looked at Ponte Vedra, Ponte Vedra Beach, um, what housing looked like over there, what are places to eat, things to do. And today we're going to go a little bit further south on that map and we're going to take a look at Natchitoches, um, kind of the area surrounding that, what there is to do, see all those things. So I have people reach out every day that are moving um, from out of state down here to St. John's and want more information. If that's you, I'm going to put my contact information in the comments below. You'll find them. Feel free to reach out. I love, love hearing from people. I love helping you guys. So um please either call, text, email, all the things <laughs> I'm available. Um, and again, if you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, so let's get started. Okay, last week we looked at, oops, just turn that down there. We looked at the top part of the map um, we looked at the very tip top of St. John's County. We looked at Ponte Vedra Beach. We could look here at like Mickler's Landing. You can see I'm circling that right here. I even included some little video clips of um, my trips there. And before we get down into 32081, I just want to say, you know, I told you guys that this was our favorite beach to go to. So Thanksgiving week, we went back. Thanksgiving week weather was really um crazy here. Normally it's like really warm and great, but it was wet, rainy, chilly. We went to the beach anyway because my mom was in town. It was really, really foggy and I'll probably, I'll include some pictures, but I found eight shark's teeth. So if you remember the first video, I talked about like a fun activity to do is to find shark's teeth over there. Well, I found eight of them and I'm going to include some pictures. So look out for that. All right. So let me just zoom out a little bit here. So again, we are going to explore all of St. John's County. Like I said, last week we looked at Ponte Vedra Beach. We looked at the very, um, I'm going to just type this in real quick. St. John's County, Florida. And you can see here it's outlined in red. <laughs> that was zoomed a little bit too much. All right, all the way up to Ponte Vedra Beach all the way down here to, to Marine Land, Flagler Estates. So we looked at that. So right now we covered this last week. We're going to cover Nocatee. Okay. So Nocatee zip code, that area, um, is 32081. Okay. And I have people ask, so like say for instance, you live in Nocatee, is that the name of the town? Like if you're mailing somebody a letter, is it going to be Nocatee, Florida, 32081? No. So the um, it's actually still included in Ponte Vedra. So what would be the address, you know, if you're in Nocatee, Ponte Vedra, Florida, 32081. As you can see here, uh, Nocatee is huge. It's an unincorporated master planned community. And I have this little tab open because we're going to look at that. So it says here, Nocatee is one of the best selling master planned communities in America, in America, and number one place to call home on the first coast. And let's just look at this real quick. Some of their different neighborhoods. Again, you can get to this. It's Nocatee.com if you wanted to explore this. Um, if you want to look to see what homes are active and available on the MLS right now um, in Nocatee, reach out and I'll send you that list. But let's take a look right here at the different Nocatee neighborhoods. Okay, um, You can filter these by 55 plus, gated, townhome, town center, 20 mile, coming soon, all that. Um, so we got Del Webb, which is a 55 plus, Seabrook Village. West End at Town Center, Franklin Square, Palm Crest. Palm Crest right now at Seabrook is building. It is one of the newer communities in Nocatee. And let me tell you, there are some great prices there. And the builders have phenomenal 
incentives. If you want to know what those incentives are, reach out and I can let you know. Okay, Settlers Landing, the Vista, Palmetto Cove, Coral Ridge at Seabrook, and then River Landing at 20 Mile. Um, I think they're, these are waterfront home sites from like 1.2 million. This, I think there may be like one or two of these home sites left. And then we have more townhomes, Woodland Park opening this year. Next year we have Crosswinds at Nocatee, okay? Here you can view all of the Nocatee quick move-in homes. So these are going to be like all of the new construction quick move-in ready homes. Let's just click on that. There's also apartments. You saw that there um, in Nocatee as well. You can sort by builder, square footage, price. Um, but again, here's this just kind of gives you an idea. If you want, these are for new construction. If you want like resale homes that are located in Nocatee, again, just reach out and I will send you that list. Okay, so let's go back to the map and let's just take a look here. Okay, let's, we're gonna start up here during the red line. Okay, Palm Valley Outdoor Bar and Grill. This is a pretty popular location. It's right on the water, right underneath the bridge. Close to that is the Nocatee Kayak Launch. It's on Roscoe Road. We covered Roscoe Road last video when we were looking at Ponte Vedra. And let's see. So it's definitely worth checking out because it's going to be, if you're in Nocatee, it's right in your neck of woods. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And let's take a look here. All right. So again, these... This huge area, I'm telling you, this is all Nocatee, 32081. All part of St. John's County, well, St. John's County, hold on. I don't know what happened there. All right, let's scroll back up. Um, but it, like 20 mile, um, 20 mile park. And let's go down here. We have Davis Park. All right, so Davis Park. We got Ponte Vedra High School, which is right there. Um, let's take a look. So right, so you see the Nocatee Parkway. That goes from Palm Valley to Nocatee Parkway. So um, right here where the Palm, that's like the little bridge. You go over that, down Palm Valley Road. You're going to pass Davis Park, Ponte Vedra High School. Um, and then it kind of runs into the town center, what's considered the town center at Nocatee. And so this is where you're going to find like all of your shopping, grocery store, your Publix, and some restaurants. You can see here they have a, you know, Panera Bread, Trailer Park, M Shack. There's a care spot, um, some daycare. Uh, let's see what else. And as you can see here, like the, um, What's kind of neat is you have, these are the, some of the neighborhoods that are located within the Nocatee Village. So you can just walk to these different restaurants and the shops and the stores from your house or drive your golf cart because it is a golf cart community. All right, so we have here the water parks. You have Nocatee Splash Water Park. Look at that slide. The kids love that. Uh, yep, they have the Lazy River there. Then you have a spray park. Maybe if you have littler kids. Um, there's Willow Cove. It's, it's just a lot. Okay. I'm gonna reduce this in size just a little bit. Yep, yeah, there we go. But as you can see here, all of this in the red is Nocatee. Okay. So let's look what it says about the location. Yeah, you're super close. And here um, they even have like on that Nocatee.com, they have like an interactive map where you can kind of look at stuff. And we're just going to click on this. So if you want to, um, yeah, so this right here, you can look at, this is showing their neighborhoods. You can they're all their shopping, 
the different schools they have. There's Valley Ridge Academy, there's Primrose, there's Bonavidra High School, Palm Valley Academy. Um, so Palm Valley opened a couple of years ago. Um, and the schools are really great. My daughter started, went to Valley Ridge from like first grade to sixth grade and um, she really loved it. So, all right, let me click off of that. Trails and paths. So lots of stuff to do there. Okay, so let's go back. So you'll definitely want to bookmark this website and then they have like again the interactive map where you can explore the local and regional area here where, where I'm at <laughs> okay here we go and so again we talked about last week um, you know basically pretty much the only uh, stores we have here are Publix okay there's a Cantina Louie then we have Nice High School that's also included um, right there by um, Nocatee. And just trying to see here. You know, let's look at this as the water park. And it's, they have food trucks up there, events, concerts. You can see here like kind of how big it is. Um, all kind of different stuff. This is Crosswater Hall, which is located right there by the water park. People hold their weddings there, private events. They'll have um, community events for the residents there. And Okay, right now I just went over to the MLS real quick. So looks like in Nocatee there for residential, there's 27 listings there. It looks like some of these are like townhomes or new constructions that they've listed. This kind of gives you an idea. Uh, let's see here, this one, 594 is 1,824 square feet. This is really cute, 600,000, 2130. And um, yeah, you can kind of see here, this is, looks like a lot of these are like new builds, maybe ready to move in. This one, 1 1.35 at 41.45 square feet. And yep, so that is, um, again, there's 27, today's December 7th. So definitely change. All right, let's go back to the map. So we kind of went over all the different neighborhoods here. They have the Nocatee Preserve. Um, Again, there's a kayak. Let's look. There's kayak launches. There's Greenleaf Village. Over here, where it says, so this, um, the 32081, like, is mainly Nocatee. However, right here you have where it says, like, Walden Chase Community Pool. This area right here is, the community is called Walden Chase. And... These homes, even though they're like right at Nocatee, right at the border, like you get out and take a right here on Valley Ridge Boulevard, um, they're not part of Nocatee. So they have their own community and everything like that. But they are zoned, that Walden Chase community is zoned for the schools there in Nocatee. So let me just look here if anything comes up under... Walden Chase. Yeah, as you can see here, there's six listings right now for Walden Chase. Um, and you can kind of see the price difference. Um, yeah, so $499,9, $2180, $550, $2150. Six eighty nine, you know. So, again, this neighborhood, there's quite a few homes there, but it is not. It's right at Nocatee, but it's not included in Nocatee. So, I'm just gonna zoom in, and yep, 
Um, so you can see Wild and Chase, all of this right here. Here we go. All of these homes right here are considered um, Wild and Chase. Okay. All this right here. And then their building, so you have Walden and Chase Community. Let me just scroll out here a little bit. You have Nice High School over here. This is Highway 1. And um, you have Cantina Louie. There's some more sh little restaurants. It used to be that there was really nothing. You'd have to go into Nocatee um, to get food and stuff. But over here, I don't know why only Cantina Louie is showing, but uh, there's some... There's an Ace Hardware right there. And if you go down US1, there's where you can get your golf carts. There's a little uh, Chinese takeout, Animal Hospital, Zone Cheer All Stars. That's really popular here. Um, and on down, yeah, and this goes on down here, there's this is another where it says Finn McCool's. It's over right here in the corner. There's a couple other little restaurants over there. And there's a gym. It shops at St. John's. Joni's Pizza Italian. Uh, let's scroll out a little bit. But as you can see, this there's a lot of wooded areas over here. But um, there is a lot of building going on. Just wanted to scroll down here because um, I could not believe it one day when I was on US1 and I look over and I'm like, how far down does Nakati go? It's still building. It is still building like all of this. Um, so you can see at the time of this picture, these were all relatively new areas. So Settlers Landing, some awesome homes over there. I've toured those and showed those on my Instagram channel. Pine Island Academy, that is for, um, they had to build another school to service um, the homes for Settlers Landing and all these other communities in Nocatee that they're building down here. Pioneer Village, Liberty Cove, yep, that is for there. Uh, Cross, Crosswater Park, it goes on and on. And there's Coastal Oaks. Coastal Oaks over here is a gated community within um, Nocatee. Yeah, here's another Nocatee paddle launch. A lot, a lot of neat communities within this area. So, all right. And this is... All right, so we can see here as I zoom out, kind of this area. So we talked about how this is, this whole area is, is all Nocatee neighborhoods with the exception of Walden Chase, which is just on the corner here from Nocatee. Let's see up here all the different, here's one of them, Greenleaf Village, Green Lakes Park. There's also a little Palm Valley Golf Club, which is on, uh, you can see it from this little street right here. You can go hit some golf balls. Also, K9 for Warriors has one of their headquarters over there. It is massive. They've also opened up a YMCA there. There's also some other little gyms um, in Nakati now. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can see them. But you got doctor's offices again. Your green wise, there's a green wise market now, in addition to the regular Publix. So, all right, let's zoom out of that. And we're gonna take it all. all right, so, today we kind of took a over a really overview look at Nocatee area. Um, and then tomorrow, not tomorrow, but our next video, we're going to go west. So 
whereas today we looked at 32081, which was right here. Tomorrow we're going to go on the other side of US1 over to this west side. So on this west side, we're going to look at Beach Walk. All right, just a few other things that I wanted to say about Nocatee, because this was really a high-level <laughs> overview. We really did not do a deep dive. You can absolutely do that if that's something that you want. But again, I'm going to put some links in the comments um, where you can kind of do some exploring because there are over like 22 plus, over 22 different neighborhoods, and they all have a different feel, a different price point. Um, so it, if that's an area that you're interested in, it's really something that you're going to want to um, research and learn more about. If there's a specific neighborhood um, that you want to see, maybe you live out of state, let me know. I'm happy to go do some videos for you, some exploring to show you um, what it looks like. So um, some other little facts that Nakati is about two and a half miles from the beach. So that uh, Michaelers Beach right there that I showed you <laughs> that I love is about 2.5 miles away. There's tons of community events and things to do in that community. As of 2022, there is over 26,000 people who live in the Nakati community. So it's growing rapidly. It's, one, like I said, one of the fastest growing in the U.S. And um, so, and again, um, you know, whether you're looking for a townhome, you want to be within walking distance, you love the golf cart lifestyle. However, there are a lot of people. And um, I'll just go over some quick pros and cons. Some of the pros is people love that different community feel. They love the schools right there. They love taking their kids to the school on their golf carts. They love being able to walk places. And really, it's just like its own contained little bubble where you have everything that you need right there. Um, so even though there are, you know, over 26,000 people, it really has like a closer community feel. Um, they have the farmer's market over there in the field. Um, I would recommend going to the Nakati.com and then looking at the community events for residents. And you'll, they have a whole, each month they produce a calendar and everything that's, that's going on there. Um, different holidays, Halloween especially, each neighborhood goes all out. So it's definitely not just for the kids, it's for the adults too. Um, it's really, you know, a different way of living. Okay. Um, in our, I don't think we covered that in our first video, but uh, so uh, HOA fees and C community development um, CDD fees, those are included. So each neighborhood would be different. So for example, Coastal Oaks, which is a gated community, I think their HOA is about $146 a month. And the CDD fee could be anywhere from like $1,100 to over $3,000 a year. So it just depends. Um, again, if there's a specific home that you're inter interested in over in Nikati in general, I can inform you of the fees of both the HOA or the CDD fees that are included. Okay, so some of the cons, um, I've actually known people who, you know, moved to Nocatee maybe, you know, six, seven years ago and have left just because the of the explosion of population of people that now live there. So, like, you know, they have built more water parks, but, um, you know, it could be you could get to the water park, you could have your chair, put your towel, you know, hang out for the day, and now with so many people you know, you maybe have to reserve your chair and maybe you might not even get one. Um, or the, some of the homes um, are really, really close together. Um, and that's, you know, depending on the neighborhood. And I'll say that depending on the neighborhood, but it could be, you know, um, people just aren't used to that. The homes being, you know, real close or, you know, kind of no, no privacy or super small lots. But again, that's not the whole experience of that. I'm just going over some of the cons. Um, but yeah, um, I would say those are basically the only real cons that I've heard is just um, the amount of people, you know, the mass building, the explosion of uh, people moving in, maybe the closer, you know, the close property lines, um, that type of thing. But overall, people really, like I said, love the community type feel, the events, 
you know, the schools, top notch, being that close to the beach. Um, you know, really, you're just a short drive. You're right there, you know, close to the beach, down in St. Augustine. You got Jacksonville. Um, it's really worth looking at. And maybe you really like that area, but you don't want to be in Nocatee. Then, of course, like I said, you have the Walden Chase community that's that's right there, <laughs> right there next door. So, um, and I know that they have HOA fees as well, um, but it's a little bit different. I don't believe Walden Chase does not have the CDD fees because they don't have all the amenities that Nocatee has. They have a community pool. Um, and park and stuff like that, basketball court, but they don't have the amenities. And a lot of people think because Walden Chase is right there, you get the amenities that Nocatee has because you can just, it's like right there, but it's not included. Um, so again, if you have any questions at all, please reach out and um, I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, until next time. All right, our video's over. I hope you made it to the end and I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you have any feedback, any comments at all, please leave them below. And if you liked the video and found it helpful, please hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. All right, till next time.